good. All right, guys, we are back with the WRC car here, and today we have quite a stash of goodies on it, which should hopefully correct some of the issues we had displayed in the previous video there. So we're gonna go ahead, go through the bits, and we're gonna jump right into it and get this stuff done. Here we uh, tried to order the uh, the Fender tub kit from Raj, but it somehow got lost in the mail and we also didn't get a refund. So we just went to Harbor Freight or Princess Auto and picked up a trailer fender, which we'll cut in half and do the same thing. So we're like, what are you gonna do, buddy? Finish a car and be like... There we are, a short bit later, we have our fender wells all set. So what we're gonna do now is remove the fenders and the front bumper, and then we're gonna start to actually cut everything behind these fender wells. Then after that, we're ready to start to weld. I've got the fender well just tacked in place. This is temporary, but I didn't want it moving around and there wasn't any way to like make it stay very stationary because the next part is important. I'm going to be making the plate that fills this. So first I'm gonna do it out of cardboard. It's gonna end up going behind this. I'm gonna weld a bead on that and then the plate is gonna go and weld all the way along there.
with the driver's side all welded in place. So we went with stitch welds everywhere except for the, you know, integral parts that I wanted mega structure, which was the front to the frame rail, some real heavy slugs along the side, along with up the tower, along the top is a seam. And then here we went stitch. I mean, this is just sheet metal. And then this is what it looks like inside. We've got a bunch of stitches. And then our shock tower, again, is stitched on the inside. So this is gonna be probably more structurally sound than it originally was because it was just a double layer of sheet metal here and a single layer here. So this is definitely enhanced rigidity, not that we need it, because we have these strut tower caps already welded on with a bar going all the way through, bracing the whole entire chassis as one. As for the real estate in the front wheel well, that is massive now. Over on the passenger side here, you can see how much of a difference we have with respect to real estate. I know I've cut out a little section there just so I can get my uh, well to start to drop in. This is what I was talking about. You have a single piece wrapping around from the tower to the front of the well there. They're butted, a couple little spot welds there, and that's pretty much it. So what we have done on the other side is definitely an improvement in rigidity, and overall, the additional real estate is huge, because our front wheels are gonna move ahead two inches. So we need that for a variety of reasons, including hitting jumps. Now this is just finished welding. What I'm gonna do is, you know, uniform that little weld a bit. I'm gonna go over it with like the die grinder, make it look nice and clean. Then we're gonna put some primer on it. Then we're gonna do a seam sealer along there and along there so that it becomes watertight. In the meantime, I am gonna make this one look like this one. All right, over with the pass side here, we already have our well fit. This is actually our template from the driver's side reversed. It works just the same on the passenger side. So here we go with a little, little demo. So there we go, kind of something like that. So I am fine to cut out my cardboard template into metal. After that, I can prep all of my edges and start to cut out all the original wheel well and prepare to weld in my new one. Now with the tubs all welded in, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and do some epoxy primer on all my seams so that I can come back, do some seam sealer, make it look nice and uniform.
All right, guys, well, there you have it. We now have our front fender tubs all done. So as you can see there, after our bit of prep and masking, we use some epoxy sealer primer over the bare metal and the seam sealer, and then touched up our bay there with some GM white to match the rest of it. This turned out really good. Again, we are going for a function over form. However, these did actually turn out looking really, really good. So I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Go ahead, like, share, subscribe if you haven't. And until the next one.